Hey, what up guys, and welcome to another Dragon Ball unboxing video. Well, let's check this out. Okay, so we're gonna begin with this one here. So today we'll be covering Volume 2 of Dragon Ball SD. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go quickly with the uh, a little summary of the first volume. Um, long story short, I'm glad I did read it, but I don't think it's like material that you have to read. Um, well, first of all, you know, it's not by Akira Toriyama. And it's a summary of what Dragon Ball was, but with little references and Easter eggs to, you know, the original series and things that happened later in the series rather than, like, you know, when this is covering, like, you know, that that uh, tournament or the training arc or stuff like that. Um, so in that first book, we had references to, uh, you know, Zarbon, um, things that, you know, you would see much later in the series. And, you know, it was interesting, too. They changed some stuff up, like... Like, the first, um, half chapter of the, well, the first chapter of, of, uh, the first half of the first chapter, excuse me, was pretty similar to the original Dragon Ball, which it has to, because, you know, it's introducing, uh, Goku and Bulma, but, um, later on, halfway through it, you see, like, when they meet Roshi, and he's able to, he uses the Kamehameha right there, um, and the Pilaf gang is there trying to get the Dragon Balls, um, and it's kind of a reference to, uh, one of the Dragon Ball movies where, you know, Roshi dispatches the, um, uh, the Red Ribbon Army and that kind of thing. Although right here it was the Pilaf Gang. Um, little stuff like that, little tweaks. And, you know, they trained. Then they, uh, we started the, uh, 21st Tenkaichi Budokai in that book. And, you know, here we finish it, continue with the Red Ribbon Army arc. And then little references to later on in the series. Um, as we saw towards the end right here with uh, Battle of Gods and stuff like that. It's little jokes like that um, and that kind of thing. This might be just a little mini chapter type thing covering that and just kind of showing you what that's like. And maybe little references to just little jokes that are in there and stuff. Um, you know, references to the movie and stuff like that. And it is kind of clever and interesting like that, but I wouldn't say this is a must read. Um, it, I'm glad I am reading it though. Um, I'll probably just read through this and then take a break, uh, before I collect more of these. Um, because, yeah, it's, it's cutesy, it's fun, whatever, but it's not that great of a story right away. Um, hopefully, you know, Volume 2 flips me around with that opinion, but who knows at the moment. Um, I'll update you guys with that. Uh, you know, if I cover Volume 3 soon, that's probably why. Like, this probably, like, you know, blew my mind or something like that. But, with that, I'll let you guys go. Thank you guys for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.